Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Vaughn. Uh, I'm going to make a quick video because a couple of students have been asking about how to create the frequency distribution table that's necessary in order to create a graph when you have a bunch of qualitative data that are spelled out as uh, different things. So this is relevant for your Seminar 2 activity. You have, uh, in, in your case, you have a whole bunch of columns of data in your spreadsheet that have to do with the uh, sports watched on TV and, and some other things. But the example I'm going to be doing for you here uh, today is just color. So I, I put a column in my Excel sheet with favorite color, and here's 20, 19 different people's responses blue, red, black, etc. They're all spelled out as different items in this list. So one thing we could do is just go through and manually count how many people said blue and how many people said black, and then just manually type the numbers into some other place on the on the spreadsheet. So I've copied just the color labels over here, writing each one only once. And what we're trying to do is populate this second column over here with the count of how many people responded with each of the uh, labels that's listed over in this column. So uh, I've already filled in the formula actually for the blue. You could just count up. There were six people that said blue. But I'm going to show you how you can have Excel do this for you, do all the counting for you to automatically populate this uh, second column which is called the frequency. So one at a time you can go through and define a formula in each one of these cells which does the it's called the count if feature. So uh, you, you click on the cell next to I want to count how many people said red from this column over here. I go to the formulas tab in Excel and I insert a function. And the function that you want to look for, it, now I've recently used it so it's right here at the top, but in this area you can just type in the count if and then search for it and it'll come up in this list. So once you find it in this list it tells you down here how to use it. So it's going to take two parameters. One is the range of cells you want me to count from and the second one is going to be the the thing that you're looking for to count. So I'm going to select the count if function and then it pops up this uh, window that's got two different things to fill in. The first one being the range and the range is going to be the range of cells that you want it to count. So I want it to count from these cells over here. Um, if you get to a window that looks like this, just click the little uh, uh, symbol to get back. And then I'm going to say the criteria that I want to count, in this case, is going to be the word uh, red. And then I click OK, and it counts up. It said that there were six people that said red. And we can count those one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Sure enough. So there were six people responded red, um, six people responded blue. And we can continue doing this one at a time, retyping the function. Um, or you can also copy this function down in each of these different cases, but you're going to have to go through and change what the um, label is that you're looking for in each case. So it's already populated the count if, but it, now it's actually even um, changed the, the cell references. You have to do hard cell references. So instead of doing that, I would just suggest doing these um, cells one at a time. There's only you know a few of them, and they only take a couple of seconds. So once you have this populated, we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, manually count these other ones. So black's on there twice. Um, oh, I have red here twice. I don't need that. So we'll move green up here. And then purple and pink. I think that's all the colors that I made up in this uh, super tiny little data set that I have here. Uh, green appears uh, once twice, three times. So again, this is the manually counting process instead of having Excel counted. And purple's on there once. And pink's on there once. So if I count these up, there's a 6, 12, 14, 17, 18, 19. And yeah, there's 19 different uh, rows of responses. So I got them all counted for in this uh, in this little table. So this is called a frequency distribution table. It gives you just the counts of how often something is um, a, a reply in this other data over here. So then this is the data that you want to make the graph of. If you want to do uh, a histogram where, or uh, a bar graph where you're displaying the frequencies of each of the responses over here, now you can go to your different kinds of graph features um, under insert a different kind of a graph and then you can select a bar graph or a column graph of some kind and you know proceed from there with determining what the labels are going to be here's the frequencies written over here and if you double click the graph you'll have some options to change the table 
and to uh, uh, do some other things in Excel that are demonstrated in the other video. So I hope that this has been useful to you to uh, help get you past the sticking point. Those of you that have been asking about uh, how you translate a list of data into a frequency distribution, which is what you want to make a graph of for your Seminar 1 activity. Um, talk to you later.